What's up guys? I'm just out for a quick run up to the gas station. Uh, I need to fill up the bike so that I can make it to work in the morning. But while I'm doing that, I thought I would explain myself a little bit. Because I didn't mean to take three months off. Uh, life just kind of got busy. Work kind of picked up a little bit. And then I was in the middle of planning a wedding. And then uh, I was on my honeymoon out of the country. And then when I got back from that, I was busy again at work making up for all the stuff that I missed when I was gone on my honeymoon and I really just didn't have time to record and edit videos in that whole time so I figured I would do just a quick kind of update video what's going on what you guys missed off camera uh, well for one I, I did finish my 15,000 mile service on my Harley here, although uh, now uh, it's almost 18,000, so we'll be doing a 20,000 soon. Uh, I didn't get around to bleeding the brakes, so that'll be something that I'll record and bring you guys along with me when I get around to that. My old Ford is fixed. Uh, there's a ton of footage there that I just, I'm gonna have to trim a lot of it down because it's gonna be a lot of really boring stuff. And I, just, I really have not had time to edit that stuff. So that's coming, uh, you can look forward to that. Um, I worked on my Super Duty some. Uh, I don't think I've introduced it yet to the channel. Uh, it's a 2001 Super Duty 7.3 diesel. But I didn't record working on it because honestly I didn't think it was going to be worth recording. But it turned out to be a bit more than I thought. Alright, so what happened with the Super Duty was I had noticed that my fuel economy had started going down just a little bit. Just a little bit. So, uh, and when I, whenever I got done driving it, like whenever I pulled into a parking spot when I got out, I would notice the uh, very faint smell of diesel fuel. And, and granted this is like two or three days, it's not like it was a, a going on problem. So, uh, one day I decided to pop the hood and see what was going on. And this is what I found. in right so I didn't bother recording it well apparently that line is a little bit more difficult to get to than I anticipated I had to take all the the charge tubes loose and the the Y pipe out to be able to get to it up the it runs from the fuel filter at the front of the block uh, down the valley under the turbo and then to the the back of the head so with all the charge tubes loose and the Y-pipe off, I was laying across the top of the engine to be able to reach that, that fitting and get it out. So we, we did all that, my dad came over and helped me, and we got all that loose, and uh, we got the, the pipe out, and ran down to the parts house, and they didn't have any in stock, of course. So uh, my dad offered to just patch it for me so I was like yeah okay I can be without the truck for for a week or so while, while you do that for me so he took it home and, and he soldered it up and uh, did a, a little pressure test he can only put so much pressure on it but it, it held the, the five or ten pounds or whatever he put in it so he brought it back to me and we put it back in and uh, before we put all the charge tubes back together, I got the idea, let me just go ahead and uh, turn the key on. I'm not going to crank it without the charge tubes on, but I'm going to go ahead and just turn it on so that the, 
the fuel pump pressurizes it and makes sure it's it's leaking. I don't need to tighten any more fittings down anymore or anything like that. Well, I'm glad I did that because his patch uh, didn't hold and we ended up having to uh, replace it again. So we pulled it back off and I ordered it a new one from Rock Auto and just had to wait another week. My truck was just down for like three weeks in this meantime. And then that came in and it was the day I was trying to put it put it in. It was like hurricaning and my Super Duty doesn't fit in the garage so I was just like out in the rain trying to trying to fix it. Okay. I guess I won't take that one. I'll take this one. No I won't. Oh and he didn't even want that one. What a jerk. Go ahead and make a note of what we got. Today is the 13th. We got two point. Five, three, eight gallons that cost seven dollars and thirty six cents. Does anyone else do that? I feel like I don't know anyone else that has a, a spreadsheet that they track their vehicles as meticulously as I do. But, spoiler alert, there's a future video coming out where I share some of my data with you that I've collected. parts in for the Super Duty and they were a pain to put in way harder than they should have been I couldn't get the fittings to line up and I was laying across the engine bay in the rain and it just sucked but I think I could have made a good video out of it if I had thought that there would have been a need to record any of that and then my brake lights quit working in the 63, but that was literally a 30 second fix. It was just the, the little pressure sensor switch on the master cylinder. Uh, those guys go bad occasionally. So I just had to pop that out and pop a new one in. That wasn't really worth making a video about. because I haven't had time or money to fix it. Actually, I don't think I've even introduced the Ruckus to the channel yet. Uh, so, basically I have a 2003 Ruckus that I have a 150cc GY6 swap on it. And it hates me, and every time I work on it, it breaks. And I know a lot of people say, well, duh, you put a crappy Chinese engine on it, what'd you expect? Uh, yeah, I kind of deserve that, but those motors can be made reliable. Uh, the problem is I, I can't leave it alone. I always want it to be faster. And when he 
try to make them faster, that's that's when they break all the time. So yeah, you can you can keep the stock motor and they'll be stupid reliable and you can even get the stock motor to be pretty quick. I mean, you can get 50, 55 out of them and still be reliable. But it takes a day and a half to get it that fast. And for the same money, you can have a pretty solid GY6 build that will do 55 or 60 and, and actually accelerate up to that speed. And then for with just a little bit more effort, you can make GY6s go 70 miles an hour all day long. Now, they might be a little less reliable, but I mean, at least for me, I'm not commuting on it. It's just a, a weekend toy that I like to thrash around my neighborhood on. And at some point, I'll, I'll get it fixed and, and make a video on it. But yeah, for now, it's still broken. And, and I'm sure whenever I get around to actually talking about it, I'll get into why it broke and what I was doing when it broke and, and all that. But anyway, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. I, sh I should have time in the, the next coming months at least to start putting out content again. So yeah, that's all that's going on. I promise in the future I'll do better about uh, taking you guys along with what I'm doing as I'm doing it instead of just recording videos and then sitting on them for five months. But in the meantime, you guys can check out Instagram. I do typically tend to be better about keeping it updated more frequently than YouTube. Although currently, I think my last post was like three months ago there also. Like I said, I've been busy, guys. Anyway, that's all I had to talk about today. I will catch you guys later.